very whiteboard. Hey guys, this video isn't so much about the whiteboard, it's just about markers of progress. True markers of progress. Now most people think we use the whiteboard as the sole measure of progress. So when new comes in, they get really nervous to the board because this, the name's there with some scores or whatever from the day. Whereas in actual fact, what goes on the board means very, very little. It doesn't tell us how well someone's moving. It doesn't tell us how stressed someone is from that day's work or family life or whatever it might be. It doesn't tell you their sleep pattern, their hydration, how well they're eating that day or generally. It has no indication on actual markers of progress. The whiteboard is more a measure of intensity. Me as a coach, when I'm looking at someone's progress, I very, very rarely use the board as an indicator of that. I never look at it, it's almost the last thing I look at. I look at it as how well they move, how well they understand the movements and uh, concepts, what their sleep's improving like, how well they're eating, what their moves like. You can pick up those things very well in a class or watching someone move. That to me is a true marker of progress and being on that road to uh, health and fitness longevity. So start looking at your progress using those factors. The whiteboard thing should be the bottom of that list. Those are all true markers of long-term progress.